I feel like everyone's come back a little more grown ish, I guess, for lack of a better term, um, because I, I think just as actors, we came back feeling like sophomores in between seasons, but also in terms of storyline, you know, like you have things such as uh, Aaron taking on new responsibilities within Hawkins, having me, Anna and Nomi living together, such a big transition, and then the twins continuing with their track. Um, there's so many similarities, I think, in terms of friend groups, of course, but then in terms of how we've all personally evolved, I think the major difference is that we're on a lot of personal journeys this year. Last season, we had 13 episodes to get through an entire freshman year. And so that meant that in many ways, as much as I love season one, it is a highlight reel, you know, because we had to make sure that we got through freshman year so that we could start season two as sophomores. And uh, season two, just having more episodes allows for another level of character expansion. The, the great thing about the show and the message that kind of overall um, embodies it is that they're never really fully grown up. You know, I think every every section, whether it be freshman, sophomore, there's always going to be something uh, that you have to learn and, you know, that you thought you had figured out and then life comes around and shows you that you don't. Um, but I think uh, one thing that is stronger than in this season than it was last season is just our bond, just because we've been together. I feel like she was kind of discovering her family first season and now the second season she's uh, really found her home and, you know, we know each other a lot more. Professor Charlie, who was an adjunct professor in marketing, ended up getting the uh, dean position. So now he's the dean of the school, which is bananas. So this season, Nomi, she's still definitely the outspoken one in the group um, and is not afraid to share her opinions ever. And she kind of starts still very promiscuous with boys and girls and then as time goes on is kind of realizing that maybe that type of lifestyle isn't as rewarding as it maybe once was. Well, her fashion's definitely stepped up a notch. Um, and I think with girlfriends especially, we do this saying where it doesn't matter where we're going. If we're going to the movies, we call each other, what are you wearing? Are you wearing, are oh, you wearing jeans? Oh, shoot, okay, I was gonna wear sweats, but okay, if you're wearing jeans, I'm gonna wear jeans, cool. Are you wearing a tank top? Okay, okay, cool. Like, so I think we're all kind of starting to like dress alike and really be more into fashion. Um, so she grows up in that sense. And I think she kind of loosens up a little bit, but in, she's a lot more lenient with things. Like Vivek with his drugs, I had a huge problem, but this time it's like, I know it's there and I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say I'm okay with it, but I'm not okay with it, but I'm not gonna lash out at you about it. And you know, I'm, I'm a lot more outspoken with my friends. But then at the same time, I, I get a little lonely, so I feel like she, she pulls back a little bit too. And she just doesn't, she's still trying to figure herself out with, with the friend group, especially now having a new roommate, which is Nomi Siegel. And uh, she's definitely more out of the box than Anna is. Yes, I feel like with Jaslyn, you see a little bit more of her softer side. She's still really feisty, but she's like in love. So you see how she's vulnerable and how she can get hurt really easily. And yeah, I'd have to say that about Jazz. Yeah, and for my character, you know, I kind of am really focused on getting to the best of my ability in track. And also like with always having my sister's back, no matter what, through whatever. Like if somebody's trying to come for her, I'm always <laughs> like, we can post up. Like it's, it's really funny. Um, so yeah. I think they're gonna like, uh... All, all the issues and funny things this season tackles. Um, I think they're gonna love what, uh, what Zoe's turning into and how relatable she gets to like a lot of people. Like, um, I think they're gonna like the humor. I, I think the humor in this season is, is way better than season one. I think they really, like the writers really like nail down what makes the show funny. And like, you know, situational comedy, what, like what makes certain characters funny. They really like, like, di like dialed it to perfection. And I think it's, it's really funny. So one of my favorite things about friendships in life, right, is you have the honeymoon phase at the very beginning. You all fall in love with each other and you just have a really great time. And the, the really meaty part of friendships is when you really start to conflict with each other. 
right? So I think season two, we are really bumping up against each other with our ideas, even more so than in season one. And you just see real good tests of what our friendships are going to be like. Learn something new every day.